Well, hello there everyone, David, your friendly hairy Scotsman here once again, out and about in his car. So, I was in some shop, which I honestly can't remember, and I found Jaffa Joe Nuts. Now, I've heard of Jaffa Cakes and I've heard of Donuts, but I didn't know they'd got it on. So, that's them there. Um, the love child of the epic Jaffa Cakes and the delicious donut, we call them Jonuts. Okay, four individually wrapped Jonuts. Uh, thought Jaffa Cakes couldn't get any more epic, think again. For magic Jaffa combo, but with a twist. Soft donut, donut shaped sponge, tangy orange filling, topped with a layer of crackly chocolate. I'm not going to read what's in it, but I'll let you have a look if you want. And then there's more stuff over there. So. I'll tell you something. Mm. The traffic lights haven't changed colour. Uh, where is it? I can't actually see my screen here. Yeah, you got, I think that could be it. Or could that be it? Anyway, they're all kind of grey colour anyway. So let's try and get into one of these. A new original. Sorry it's so bright here. I'm actually down at North Queen's Ferry at the moment. This light should change again. Come on, in you come. You're about to hear a roar at the back of me. I'm actually parked underneath the fourth bridge. And this is a train coming over. Probably here if I open the door a bit more. That's a train going across the bridge over the River Forth. I'll show you it in a minute or two. Right, so see this nice little wrapper. Ooh. Wow, you can smell that orange literally the second you split the seal on this. That's what it looks like. Let's give this a wee try, shall we? Hmm. That's unusual, to put it mildly. It's not as good as a Jaffa cake. It's very spongy based. The orange filling in it isn't as orangey. And the chocolate isn't quite as dark. Apart from that, it's actually not bad. That's what it looks like inside. If I hadn't had Jaffa cakes, you know, to compare it to, it would be totally different. It's really nice. It's soft, 
It's tasty, but it's not a Jaffa cake. Would I have some more? I've got another three sitting there, so the answer's yes. But yeah, I suppose I would actually. Hmm. That's really good. It's not bad at all, actually. I know I said it's not as good as this, and not that's not as good, and the next thing's not as good. But taste-wise, it's actually really nice. Texture-wise, it's really nice. As I say, it's not a Jaffa cake, but it's good. Mm. There's quite a lot of oil coming out of my fingers there. Mm. It's not, it's really quite nice actually. Let's have a little drink to wash my mouth. I like fizzy water. <coughs> so, McVitie's Jaffa Jonuts. They weigh 43 grams each, wait a minute. I'm really struggling to read this, I've got the wrong glasses on as usual. There we go. Each ring has 43 grams. Or is 43 grams. Jump for Jaffa Joy. You've hit the snack pot. Donut, try to resist. If you actually read what was in it, it would really put you off eating it, being honest. So I'm not going to read it because I've shown you anyway. Spongy rings with an orangey oomph. Well, when I first opened it, yes, you did get a hit of the orange. When you tasted it, it's like it was missing something. But it's really nice. But as I say, it's not a Jaffa cake. And it's not a donut. But it's quite unusual, but it's tasty. It's nice as a, a, a for a wee change. Say, like I'm at the moment. I've just sent some pictures out to the paper. <coughs> I'm just doing a job there, and it's nice as a wee snack. I've got a wee bit of taste there. Uh, it's a bit different. So yeah, honestly, can't remember how much they were. Um, but yeah, and if you fancy a wee change, and you like something orangey and a bit chocolatey and spongy. It, said, it does what it says, basically. So, I'm going to vanish just now. No, no, I'm not, am I? I was going to show you where I was. So, I've opened the car door. Excuse the wind, it is absolutely blowing a hilly at the moment. At the back of me there, that is the fourth rail bridge. Well, it's actually the fourth bridge, but it is, it is a rail bridge. And if you zoom across there, over the top of the bucket, you get South Kings Ferry. An old pub called the Hawes Inn. As you come along, over South Kings Ferry, a lamppost, and then you've got the Fourth Road Bridge and the new Queens Ferry crossing over there. Got the old something about house over there. If we come over here. This is where we are. And up here, part of the Fife Coastal Path. 
come back here again. I'll show you this bit here. And we are there. That's some of the birds that you can see. That's a tern, apparently. That's some of the wild plants. That's a dropwort. Some of the information on there. Coastal path to go at UK and see a bit more. Then up there's Versailles, that's where I live, and then out to Lime Kilns. And the key things over there. And as we show you over here. Like that. So you won't see it with a train just about to come over. Very interesting haircut here dude. It's going even worse than usual. So I hope you enjoyed that we look around the uh, North Queen's Ferry there and the bridges. The rail bridge, the original fourth bridge which I wonder at the moment, the red one there, is actually now a World Heritage uh, site. So that's pretty cool. I've got a knot in my beard there. Ouch. That was still attached. Um but basically in under a mile we've got, or is it about, just over a mile maybe, we've actually got three bridges here. We've got the fourth bridge, fourth road bridge and the Queen's Ferry Crossing, which is a new one. So that's pretty cool. So, going to vanish just now, there's another train coming the other way here, um, before it drowns me out. Hope you're all keeping well. Take care of yourselves. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you hit the bell too, it'll show notifications to when I'm putting more of these up. And if you like what I do, if you hit the like button, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. It really does help the channel quite a lot. Um, so, take care everyone, and see ya!